All right, so welcome back. But before we get more into the conversation, Arutlo hore ba strata ba tshoretseng. Lunga ba reng go strata. Ah, nya bonga le koko. Nya zwi go tsinyi nphatheleza se strata ni vele. Asi xa xa zeli phungele li tie le ngakaze li poli ka mauno ke longa into kazi entle ya kwa tshenje kwayo. So xa xa siqale ngama Bloemfontein fans as they were said over the fact that the game between Bafana Bafana and Congo at Bloemfontein was moved due to pitch readiness and logistics. They were blaming Isafa Wuti. How can they be so unprofessional about this? But my question that I want to pose to you today is that, is Safa the right people to blame? But Nisa Kabanga, I answer your corner. Let's move on to the next story. We all know that Ikaiza Chiefs has been filling out stadiums during the week. La Lela and their last game was between E Amazulu and they won 3 to 1. Three of their goals has been scored under 30 minutes. La Lela, this is the cheese everyone was fighting for. This is the cheese everyone was looking for with PSL. Even the fans did say that if they continue winning like this, Sana, they will fill out the stadiums. Another question for you today. What comes first? support or results while you think about that let's move on to the next story sisa kulumage gama winning streak orlando pirates was also playing with pulukwane city in orlando stadium while ikochi pulukwane city did say that they were expecting a draw with orlando pirates and you could see from the pitch which it was very tight but orlando pirates then managed to come out victorious. City, congratulations. Speaking of victories, another team that has been coming in strong is Mamelodi Sundowns. A lot of fans are quite questioning the fact that in the beginning, they were quite disorganized, but right about now, seems like they're finding their feet. What do you think they do that changes the whole game plan from what they were in the beginning to what they are currently? But I think Impendulo is a Tatis Kati because I asked three questions. But right about now, I'll pan it to our professionals. Suzu Guti Batin, Ngalis Gata, and Kotubushia Maj. Hey, the supporter of Sundowns, Sumara Mari, Retari. The cause of that, yeah, the supporter of Sundowns is our biggest talent bush. We saw them playing mm -hmm. against City. The young. Um, Look, he, here's the thing, you've also, you've also got to remember, and we've, we've all said here and have praised Stellenbosch. Mm -hmm. and, and remember in the last segment we were speaking about mm -hmm. guys who are skilled. Stellenbosch has been a team that's consistent. Steve Barker's got a system that works. You can remove players all you want, but they will keep play. going. Mm -hmm. And even when Sundowns beat Stellenbosch, mm -hmm. it wasn't a walkover. Ah. It was always a tough that's walkover. Bad, that's bad. And mm -hmm. that's why, and I think the supporters panicked. And in that panic, but the best thing that can happen, Sundowns had to go back and say, where did we go wrong? And that forced them to be able to go back. And they came back in the Champions League like a house on fire. They got it right, Stelis, <coughs> Sanele Pants, Mojela. You swear that they've been playing for <laughs> seasons. That's exactly what Mamposa is talking about. They are, they are able to, to generate a system or they have a system in place that says, I can bring in Ulindo. What's the name of background? No, 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 no. If you mentioned Grips, you can't get it. You can't get it. You can't get it. So, they go into the, I mean, the Confederation Cup. We saw Horban Nogila out as Vita. We can't take it light, Lindo. No, um, no. You, you know, as Vita is a, is a big, big club. Yeah. What do you make of that? Uh, firstly, Likoko, let, let's give credit to the to the technical director and everyone that's responsible for the for, for background work. Mm -hmm. Lembos, you know, mm -hmm. I'm looking at the squad and I'm thinking to myself, team profiling, squad auditing, mm -hmm. and player profiling. They find the right players. You know, the people that are working with background doing very well. But looking at the uh, the profile of the squad and depth, we were first worried about the depth, more especially mm -hmm. in, in in African competitions. For me, I think Steve Parker is using that squad very well. But also considering the fact that the technical team has been together for more than eight years. You know, working together, mm -hmm. they understand the mm -hmm. analysts, the mm -hmm. conditioning coaches, the, the, the assistant coaches. But for me, I'm thinking to myself, I'm looking at the, how they play, the model, they look very rapid in terms of how they attack the last line, mm -hmm. very good on the ball. But I think also as well, they've got two very good ball playing centre-backs, a very 
very good talented player, you know, Jaden mm -hmm. Adams, who plays mm -hmm. as a box to box. Oh, yeah. And underrated defensive midfielder, Kati Malia Abusipendu, who keeps things very, very mm -hmm. simple, you know. Yeah. But also, I'm very critical on one player who I feel can be very crucial, even for the national team, even for Stellenbosch going into the season mm -hmm. with Devin Titus. Misses so many easy chances, mm -hmm. in my opinion. The boys got speed, attacks the last line, plays behind the defense, but technically very poor, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Can do better, that is positive criticism, Lukoko. The boy has the potential, mm -hmm. but I think he needs to score the opportunities that he does get. There were rumors of moves. Uh, could that be messing up maybe with his head? Uh... Look, yeah, and here's the thing. And the transfer window is that is that period of time. Yeah. I mean, if you look across from Cape Town City, for the longest of time, Mayo was moving. Yeah. This is the first time that he's moved. But I think from the way, and you've got to always look at it in, in two different perspectives. There is the team being ready to move forward without you. Yeah. There is you as a player psychologically, how does that affect you? Because if you look at uh, Stellenbosch, how many players were moving at Stellenbosch? Adams mm. was supposed to move. Mm. Uh, Fowers was supposed to yeah, move. Yeah. Now he's scoring long range. He exodus. Yeah, 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 he exodus. Yeah. We must just say the value has gone up. He's no longer the same price that he was in this transaction. There's a, there's a, <laughs> sorry to interject, Mamposa. There's a player in the team that we normally don't speak of, Sage Stevens. Mm. Very crucial player mm. in the team. Mm. Very crucial. Mm. And behind those poles, he tells you that one does stand and try it. <laughs> no matter while Abajis Saga Arrows, Mara Cast and Downs mm. was man of the match. For me, the missing puzzle of that Stellenbosch team is a goalkeeper. Big clubs or good teams build by having a good goalkeeper. The spine is good, they just need. I know he's the captain of the team, Stevens. Mm. Yeah. But for me, too short, but also not just that. We don't want to say he's in the office, but for me, technical <laughs> ability as well can be better in terms of football. Yeah. You know? But I, th I feel that the missing puzzle with Stellenbosch is the goalkeeper. Moloisani. Mm. Is he knocking on that Wafana Wafana door? Yeah, look, he's got stiff competi competition for yeah. that. He's going to have to work more than what he is right now. Mm -hmm. And the unfortunate thing, sometimes the national team, we need to be honest, there are certain teams that are looked at. And still, he's, it's, it's slowly getting into that bracket. Yeah, okay. mm. But Maloisani is quite a good player, quite a good centre back. Lindo Builega won away. Those two centre backs, by some service, too important into the team. Why this study is so well all? You can speak about them the whole day. <laughs> uh, there are teams that qualified for the CAF Champions League. Group stages at that. Are you looking forward to having an Orlando Pirates and Mamri Sundowns in one group, Mampos? No, we can't have one group. What is this thing? They, they can't be in one group. <laughs> we understand they haven't been there for a long time. And well done to Orlando Pirates because they've put one over Joanne, mm. who were their nemesis last but, season. But the rules don't stop them from being in the same. No, but when you, when you do that, and I, I feel that one of the things is that I would like to see an Orlando Pirates play against the Lachli in their group. I would like to see Orlando Pirates play against the Raja in their group. Mm. I'd like to see Orlando Pirates play against the Younger. My beloved Wananchi, because what you've got to be able to do, I believe in the Champions League, Pirates are in the building phase. Mm. Because you don't go there the first season. Hey, if you get there and you win... building phase. Yeah. yeah. If, if you get there and you win, props to you. Mm. Mm. But normally it takes a couple of build-ups, a couple of build-ups. So in this period of time, what Orlando Pirates are doing, you want to be able to know what it feels like to go to Raja. You want to know what it feels like to be able to go to Alakli and face that hostile crowd. Because yeah. guys like Sasan, who are now part of our national team, they need to know all those things and be able to be able to say, can Esaleng perform? Mm -hmm. Because Orlando Pirates at Orlando, the crowd works for them. Mm -hmm. Can they work for them? Can they face the opposition? That's what Orlando Pirates have got to do in this coming season. SC. Group stages, right to get bread and butter sundowns, but Orlando Pirates, we know league, they're not a league team, really. Yeah. So, quickly, can you sum it up? Do you think they'll do well? Uh, look, because they've mastered the art of playing these short tournaments, mm. you can give them that benefit of saying they're going to get out of their groups, you know, because of that little mm. fact. And, and, and it tells you that uh, Jose is good about these small tournaments in Yana, and I don't, I don't see a Pirates struggling because they've got the team, they've got the depth they, they, they need. You look at players like Hoto. You know, players, you mentioned players that are in the national team. You look at firstly those players. Those players tell you that if we go into this, we are, we are amped up for those teams that Mampos is talking about. Does it not also depend who you find in the group? Because if you suddenly <laughs> have uh, certain teams there, if you have uh, younger there. I guess, I, I guess we have to wait and see. <laughs> but, uh, unfortunately, time, you know, if you look at it felt very short. I really enjoyed the conversation that we had. Next week, we go again. So do make sure that you check us out. Bahaitu, remember to treat the people that you love right. Kilrata Rotli. I never rock. <laughs>